Memphis, Tennessee, the destination for the Thunder. Rising star Shea Gilgis Alexander with so much in his bag, looking to continue his rise as they settle in for game time at the FedEx Forum. Thunder Grizzlies is up next. everyone welcome to 2k sports and another exciting edition of nba ball i'm brian anderson joined by hall of famers doris burke and grant hill and the fourth member of our crew reporter ali laforce ali it's all yours thanks ba well the nba's play in tournament is exciting it's a way to keep teams in the mix but it's had its share of critics luka Doncic said quote i don't understand it. you play all season to get into the playoffs then maybe you lose two in a row and you're out? I don't see the point. Guys? Yeah, Allie, team's definitely motivated to stay in the top six. Good stuff there. Thank you. Now let's check out the Western Conference standings and see how they look here in December. You look at the Grizzlies. Here to start, they're on solid ground, standing sixth in the conference. And, of course, the Thunder, six games behind. Right now for the Grizzlies, it's impressive how they have wiped out a lot of the doubts about them. Now, we all thought it might take them a while to figure things out, but it's taken no time at all. Yeah, I think that growing process has already taken place. This is a team that already knows what its identity is and where its strengths lie. A look at the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They've got Derek Favors. Darius Baisley is out there with Lou Dort. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Giddy in at the shooting guard. And for Memphis, Jackson Jr. and Adams together inside. Go. DeAnthony Melton out there with Ja Morant. And it's Brooks.
in at the three, the small forward. Grant, you won Rookie of the Year. You feel that a rookie wall is a real thing this time of the season? I think it is. Now, I'm not the smartest guy in the room, but 30 games versus 82 games is a serious difference. The physicality of the NBA can also wear down a rookie. Great concentration through the contact. Gilgis Alexander, excellent focus. Jackson outside. Tipped. Here's Baisley. Defended by Jackson. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And it's blocked. To the inside. That's good from Jackson. On the assist from Adams. Yeah, Stephen Adams' instinct is to pass it first. And what instincts he has. Wow, pretty play. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And the shot goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got his second bucket. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Now here's Moran. An elite offensive player. Averaging just over 33 a game. Six on the shot clock. And it's Brooks missing. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. And it's Gilgis Alexander on the drive. Count it. Good. For Memphis, they've gone one of three from the floor. Moran against Gilgis Alexander. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by, three-pointer Brooks. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Favors.
Here's Morant. Goes up off the end. Oh, big finish! Oh, did you see that? I almost can't believe what I saw. Incredible! I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Here's Baisley. Door outside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. And the layup is good off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got eight points. Talk about hitting the ground running. Four for five to start. You look at Gilgis Alexander and the way he plays. He has kind of that old man style to him. A lot of crafty moves and fakes in his book. Now here's Dort coming in off 12 points in his last outing. And it's good. Two points. Very difficult to match up with favors. I love how under control, under duress he was right there. Favors against Moran. And the shot goes down. Six points for him. And talking about Gilgis Alexander, this guy plays like a 10-year vet. I mean, he has great footwork to get to the paint. He uses those Euro steps and hesitation so well. I mean, he reminds me in some ways of a young Manu. Dort for three. The rebound by Melton. The Grizzlies have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. Ooh, old school right there. No easy buckets. Down low. Here's Baisley. He can't get it to go. Memphis trailing here. Adams, the pass to Jackson. Brooks with it. Out to the right wing. Here's Adams. He nails it, and we're tied. Well, you can't do anything more defensively to stop Steven Adams. This guy is growing into a solid interior threat. Dort finds Gilgis Alexander. Here's Baisley. Right side, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Giddy. Let's it go from 14. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Grizzlies have gone five of nine from the floor. Takes a 13-footer. It's tipped. Inside. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. Shot from the inbound. Grizzlies with the rebound. They put up a nice win against Toronto last time out. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. Well, they knew exactly how to approach that defense. They shot a fantastic percentage because they got quality looks. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Again, no good by Oklahoma City. And here's Memphis now. Jackson gets the bucket. Finishing through contact. Jackson showing why a 6'11 guy with real shooting ability is so dangerous. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. They're getting their first look of the season at the Grizzlies in this one. Their first try against a familiar club. It should be a good one. Muscala, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Yeah, 
Pass to Giddy. Here's Baisley. Outside for Dort. Trying to get back on track. The rebound by Jackson. To the paint. Here's Melton. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Grizzlies. Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. Here's Giddy. Still getting warmed up offensively. No bucket yet in the game from him. Adams against Dort. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Oh, what tremendous focus to absorb the contact and find a way there to finish. Well, if you're a fan of this team, you have to be happy with the way Dort's game has grown. You can count on Dort to continue to improve. I mean, he's made huge strides after his rookie year. He has a great trajectory for his career. The Thunder making a switch here. Jerome's checked in. What's up? from Dort. Well, Lou Dort earned his first minutes in the NBA because of his elite defensive prowess. But think about the improvements on his perimeter game last year. Now a legit threat on the offensive end. And that was good for Brooks. And Morant is a natural leader. Someone who wants to get his guys involved when they're open. Here's Jerome. Melton covers. Pass to Jerome. Here's Baisley, looking for his first basket still in this one. Just two to shoot. Yep, count it. And Dort smoothed out his jump shot too, Doris, as you mentioned. Much improved numbers. Yeah, you look now and think, boy, this guy went undrafted, and he'll continue to develop as a shooter. Luke Dort now a fantastic perimeter two-way player. Here's Melton, following the bucket by the Thunder. Good on the shot. And the Grizzlies lead by three. The Thunder have got 7 of 15 to find the net. Gilgis Alexander passes to Mescala. Here's Baisley. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. To the middle. Here's Jackson. That one no good. So Oklahoma City will take it the other way. Now played the previous game on their schedule. They lost to the Rockets. It was poor efficiency scoring the ball. They needed too many attempts to get their points. I think it was a lot of bad decisions leading to a lot of poor looks. Patience was not their best quality in that basketball game. Brooks finds Adams over Dort. Puts the move on. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Gilgis Alexander against Moran. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Adams with the ball. And it's Dort picking him up. Jackson outside. Pass to Moran. Oh, it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Wow, Shake Gilgis Alexander off his feet and sends it back. Here's Jerome. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Now Dort. Shot clock at six. 
The Grizzlies pull it in. Adams has got a rebound number five here tonight. And it's Moran off the drive. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. The quick feet of Moran. He's so dangerous when he's cutting to the rim. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And they come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Jackson finds Brooks. Here's Adams. Soft touch off the glass. Now it's a seven-point Memphis lead. Adams is used to scoring through contact. Make no mistake, he'll show you some strength every now and again. Pass to Jerome. Gilgis Alexander against Adams. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. And a solid pick to free him up for the dunk. Boy, the timing there couldn't be any better. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. All right, now a timeout called by Memphis. Guys, when you look at what Shea Gilgis Alexander brings, he's got a great skill set on the offensive end. He can get off the bounce. He can find his teammates. This guy can slot into either backcourt position. You love the versatility. So Memphis ends up going with a new group. Pokashevsky's checked in for Oklahoma City. So it's the Grizzlies now. It's a five-point game. Outside Jones. Clark outside. Pass to Anderson. Five on the clock. And a miss there on the triple. No question who's in control of the board so far. To the inside, Muscala, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Dort finds Gilgis Alexander. Over Jones. That one a little long. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Driving in. Got a hand on it. Here's Clark. Nice work on the boards. Paying off with a basket. And the Grizzlies lead by seven. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Pass to Dort. And here's Muscala. Here's Jerome. Here's Pokasevsky. Clark covers. And Pokusevsky gets it to go. 54 seconds left to play in the first. Now here's Clark. It's hauled in by Pokasevsky. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Nice D from Anderson. Memphis has gone 1 for 3 from outside so far in this game. Pass to Tillman. Here's Bain. Here's Jones. And he's in the books. Now one for two. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Outside Gilgis Alexander. It's good. Gilgis Alexander's got 14 points for the game. Ja Morant, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Grizzlies. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. And don't go far. We'll be right back.
And the fourth pick in 2018, Jaron Jackson Jr., the rare NBA-ready defender, he talked about where he can make the most impact. A veteran's understanding of help and positioning, Grant. Yeah, I love that defensive mind approach. That's why they're a team to be reckoned with. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. What stands out to you from the Grizzlies in this one? Well, a big differentiator was their ability to generate offense by pounding the glass. I love the determination. They want to go after every rebound out there and overwhelming to the opposition right now. And Oklahoma City, looking at who they've got. They've got Ty Jerome. Derek Faber's out there with Mike Muscala. Then there's Alexei Pokashevsky. And it's Maladon in at the one. Now here's Favors. He's coming off a 10-point game against Houston. Pass to Maladon. Here's Pokashevsky. From outside, off the mark. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Outside Jones. The Thunder pull it in. It's off to Detroit after this game, where they will face the Pistons. It's the second game of three on the road. Here's Maladon. Takes the 12-footer and hits it. Boy, a strong finish down low. The defense was there, but he was not going to be denied. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Jones, blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Oklahoma City trailing. Here's Pokusevsky. Nine points in his last outing. Jacks up a three. Misses another. Just one of four from the floor. For Memphis, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. Anderson can't get it to go. Oklahoma City's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. And Muscala with the slam. And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end right at least on that slam it was that's one way to let a team back in the game right you can see on that possession one side playing with a little desperation the other side losing focus and here are the grizzlies now after the basket by oklahoma city and they blow the whistle just as he gets it off that's two points with a chance at another one at the strike And that one misses. And here are the Thunder now. They trail by seven. Here's Mann. To the paint. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Pass to Tillman. Outside, Anderson. And there's the lob. Oh, Clark with the slam. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Giddy. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Grizzlies have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Outside Jones. Pass to Clark. Releases. And it's Memphis with another. And taking a look at this first half, they've just shown better shot selection. And I think, obviously, we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass so important. Here's man. Pocket six. Here's Maladon. Over Jones. Maladon, no good. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. With the 10-footer. That one's wide left. The Thunder have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Lokashevsky the miss. 
listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Pass to Jones. Tries a 10-footer. Offensive rebound. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Jones has got four points in the quarter. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. So, Brian, the NBA tests out different rules in the G League, including shooting one free throw for all the possible points to speed things up. How much did it hurt players' free throw percentages, not getting the multiple tries? Well, averages dropped a percentage point or two. Is that a deal breaker or something to consider? Yeah, those are good questions. We'll see, Allie. Thank you. Well, Grant, the best way to steady a team, have an anchor like Tyus Jones as the backup point. I mean, just an outstanding decision maker. His steady play complements their athletes with that second unit. Anderson gets the bucket. They just look so overwhelmed inside. But that's why they continue to get attacked. Timeout, timeout. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And the Thunder call time here. And he's one of those stat sheet stuffers. Kyle Anderson at 6'9", gives you rebounding, playmaking, grant a little bit of everything. I mean, the combination of size with skill is what makes him special. And his wingspan helps him impact the game in so many ways. Big group substitution here for Memphis. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Tillman. Brooks comes in for Anderson. Melton, he's checked in for Bain. And it's Morant in for Jones. Baisley, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Here's Mann. Back to Baisley. Pass to Favors. Here's Pokazewski. Defended by Jackson. And stolen by Clark. And it's Kitty with a rebound. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. A shot to stop the run. Nails it from three. Man's got five. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Brooks with it. Checking the numbers. He's averaging close to 15 a game. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Here's Pokusevsky. Let's go with a three. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Well, he showed right there. This guy capable of making shots, especially if you leave him that wide open. Melton outside. Brooks the pass to Jackson. Melton outside. Clark outside. Four on the clock. Fires for three. Melton misses. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Here's man. And they recover it. And there's the rejection. And that's out of bounds. Oklahoma City will keep it. Adams checked in for Memphis. And also a switch here for Oklahoma City. Dortch checked in. Three-point game for him and the win against the Raptors in Toronto. That's good from Jackson on the assist by Morant. Give him eight points now. Among the best passers in the league, Morant finds open teammates. Pass to Baisley. Here's Pokusevsky. Brooks defending. Here's Pokusevsky. Five points in the game. Man. Again, no good. 
good by Oklahoma City. There's one principal reason why they're sitting on this lead. Rebounding. Melton passes to Adams. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Shea Gilgis Alexander, he's checked in for man. And the free throw, no good. Boy, there's just a brute strength and physicality about Steven Adams. This guy knows his role and plays it to perfection. Here's Bakuzevsky. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. And that one's good. Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. Memphis leading. Morant, pass to Adams. Brooks with it. Pass to Morant. Six to shoot. Now here's Adams. Gilgis Alexander defending. Shakes off strong. D and gets to the bucket for two points. Adams has got four points this quarter. Now Dort, a dependable player on offense, giving them over 13 a game. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Dort's got five points. Moran against Gilgis Alexander. Morant, the pass to Melton. Brooks outside. And here's Moran. Out of bounds, it'll be Oklahoma City's ball. The Thunder making a switch here. Jerome's checked in. Oklahoma City has gone 2 of 5 from deep here in the second. Gilgis Alexander against Moran. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. That one is off. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. They are just owning the boards right now. Morant, the pass to Adams. Double team on Adams. And here's Morant outside. And it's slammed in by Adams. So many NBA players will tell you Steven Adams is the strongest guy in the league, and he gets after it off the glass. Pass to Dort. Here's Baisley. Oh, it's stolen. And Adam strong finish. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. There's just no reason to give them inside position. Coaches call that doing your work early. If you are there defensively, it really does not allow for him to establish that kind of excellent positioning down low. Here's Melton. Following the bucket by the Thunder. Here he goes. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's Pokazewski. Give him eight. And here's Gilgis Alexander. Over to the left wing. Here's Jerome. Off target from outside. Memphis has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Morant, the pass to Adams. And a great assist by Morant as that one goes. Morant's got three assists tonight. There is a persistence about Steven Adams. Quality defense will not deter this guy if he wants to score. Nice finish. 
Jackson, right side. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Shot and game clock separated by five. Here's Jerome, defended by Jackson. It's Pokashevsky on the wing. Gilgis Alexander finds Dort, and the call will be against Jaron Jackson. That's his first foul. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the half. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Four seconds left. That one doesn't drop. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end. Building this lead up. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Big night so far for Steven Adams. He had 14 points, two assists, and one steal. He didn't perform up to his standards in their last game. Tonight's a different story. He obviously has a short memory. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on how Memphis played? They were getting after it on the glass. Like, wow, they got a nice edge in that department, which has led to this lead. They won the heart and hustle battle in that first half. Now we'll see if they can keep that going. And over to Kenny. Your thoughts on the Thunder's first half? They couldn't get anything from the on the off. Obviously, plenty of bad shots, but they couldn't even hit wide open ones. They need to regroup, I'm telling you, regroup with some kind of rhythm and get on pace. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. What a game we're seeing here from Steven Adams. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Jackson Jr. and Adams together inside. John Moran is out there with DeAnthony Melton, and it's Brooks in at the three. That's the five to begin the second half for Taylor Jenkins. A little hesitant. Maybe he thought the D was tighter on him than it really was. Here's Giddy. The shot no good. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Looking ahead to their next game, playing at Dallas. They'll match up against the Mavericks. It'll be the front end of a two-game road trip. Oh, Favors with a block. Derek Favors using that long frame to send that back twice on the pipes, Kevin. And the Grizzlies shooting around 53%, a nice number. Melton passes to Morant. Out to the right wing. Back to Adams. Shot clock at six. Shoots from the elbow. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, we all know Stephen Adams is one of the most physical guys in the NBA. He is so solid at using his body to pick up fouls. No good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. And for Oklahoma City, they're shooting just 38% for this game so far. Pass to Dort. Back to Baisley. Here's Giddy. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting.
knocks down the first one. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Well, the Grizzlies shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. Jackson outside. Fires from the line. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. And how about the mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Here's Giddy. The Thunder with another miss. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Adams against Favors. Pass to Brooks. Down to five on the shot clock. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Brooks has got five. And that's got to be a relief. Finally getting something to go here in the second half. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists now in this one. Now here's Moran. Give him eight points now. Brooks outside. Back to Moran. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Ten points for him. In the paint, Morant stays nimble, and that allows him to make any needed adjustment to his shot. Knocked loose. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. Melton left side. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Oh, a good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And no doubt, Coach wants them to improve their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Tillman's checked in for Adams. Anderson comes in for Jackson. And it's Jones in for Melton. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Gilgis Alexander's got 16 points. Outside Morant, pass to Brooks. Here's Tillman. Lays it up and banks it in. Tillman's got his second basket on the night. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. Here's Giddy. Checking his numbers. He's put up a little over nine points a game. And even losing big, you have to maintain composure if you want to avoid embarrassment. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Clark's checked in. Man, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Maladone comes in for Gilgis Alexander. And so it's Memphis with it. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. In 2016, the NBA Players Association made history, voting to extend health insurance to retired players with at least three years of service. 
Chris Paul said, quote, they paved the way for our game. This is just the little that we could do. Whenever my tenure is up as president of the union, that will be easily the greatest achievement. Brian? Boy, that is big time, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you for that. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. When they've had a chance to attack the basket at any point in this game, they've taken it. Now, the other thing they've done tonight is work the ball into the paint. Plenty of their points coming from close range. And he makes the first. That one misses, so he goes one for two. The Thunder have gone two of five in this third quarter. Pat to man. Back to Favors. Basket's good. Now this is where Favors is at his absolute best. Close to the rim, he can make any move he chooses. Here's Tillman. Back to Jones. Clark outside. Down low. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Pass to Favors. Shots blocked. Outside, Anderson. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, Clark with the slam. Oh, what a perfect pass to set that up. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish... That was angry. Now here's Dort. Favors up top. Taking a look at his production. Averaging just over eight points a game. Pass to Maladon. Four on the clock. It's rebounded by Memphis. Brooks has got five rebounds in the game. Clark, the pass to Brooks. Over Favors. And it's Brooks missing. The Thunder have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Pass to Baisley. And here's Dort. Stolen by Anderson. Now Brooks. Shoots over Maladon. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. A different look for Oklahoma City. Muscala, he's checked in for favors. Bokashevsky comes in for Baisley. And Jerome subbed in for man. One shot. If they're going to go on a run, Grant, there's no better time than right now. You're so right, B.A. I think they definitely expected a closer game than this. Going outside. Five to shoot. Tries it from 19. Misses off the left iron. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Out of bounds as Memphis keeps possession. Bain, he's checked in for Brooks. Right wing. Pass to Bain. Six on the shot clock. Now Clark. Gets stolen by Buscala. Here's Dort. And the powerful one-handed slam. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Clark outside. 
Fades away. No good off the back of the rim. He struggles shooting the rock. Yes, they're still winning. It's a good thing his teammates have played well. Count it. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Outside Jones. Pass to Bain. Anderson with it. On the wing, Jones. Shoots over Muscala. Jones misses. Here's Pokazewski. Give him eight points now. Here's Giddy. And it's Bain with the rebound. Bain's got four rebounds in the game. Jones drives in. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Jones has got nine. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten five of 12 shots to drop in the third. Inside. Clark grabs the board. For Memphis, they've gotten seven of 14 attempts to fall in the half. Here's Bain. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Pass to Tillman. Outside, Anderson. Clock at four. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Offensive board. Blocked! Out of bounds as Memphis keeps possession. Ja Morant, he's checked in for Memphis. Throws it up high. Oh, Clark with the slam. Great teamwork and great timing. Oh, spectacular play. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Here's Jerome. Deflected. Pass to Moran. Back to Tillman. Can't get it to drop. Hey, nice D from Muscala. Dorn outside. The three is up. That shot off. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Down low. Here's Clark. And he converts the layup. Clark's got six in the quarter. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. To the middle. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The officials were right on top of that one. First one falls. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Jackson comes in for Tillman. And it's Melton in for Anderson. And Oklahoma City with a change here too. Shea Gilgis Alexander, he's checked in for Dort. Good on both. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Pass to Clark. Here's Bain. Now here's Jackson. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. What confidence from Jackson there. Just taking it right at the defense and overpowering them. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Pass to Jerome. Jackson against Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at 5. 
teardrop. It's rebounded by Memphis. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Out of bounds as Memphis keeps possession. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Adams is checked in. Here's Moran. Using his post moves to get the two points. Moran's got four points now in the quarter. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Pass to Giddy. Now Gilgis Alexander, pounded by Moran. Just four to shoot from 13. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. Muscala's got six. Well, the size advantage playing a big part there just calmly rises and fires. Back to Bain. Jackson outside. Now Morant over Gilgis Alexander. Morant, no good. Pass to Muscala. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. The Grizzlies shooting an impressive 48% from the floor in the third quarter. Here's Morant. He drives in. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. I mean, just an agile move by Morant down low. Working around the contact and getting it to go. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Denied by Morant. Pass to Bain. And here's Morant. Morant missing again. All by himself, trying to step up. He's got to be frustrated with the miss. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies. A huge 24-point lead for them. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. We'll be back in a moment. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. On the court for the Thunder, Giddy the small forward with Baisley playing the power forward. Ty Jerome is out there with Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Muscala in at the five, roaming the paint. Now Gilgis Alexander, pass to Muscala. Here's Jerome, Melton covers, and the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First one falls for him. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Williams is checked in for Adams. Conchar comes in for Bain. And it's Merrill in for Melton. That one misses. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. Morant finds Jackson. An easy two on the layup. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Here's Mann. Oh, 
Oh, and Jackson with the block. Pass to Merrill. Takes it inside. Unable to get that one. Here are the Thunder with the ball. And here is Williams. Maladones checked in for Oklahoma City. The Grizzlies have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Merrill. Back to Morant. And Grant, throughout your career, you mostly played in the smaller markets. You think the league is doing enough to help them compete? I think so. I mean, look, Milwaukee just won a championship. An incredible season they had last year. I think they're doing the right thing between revenue sharing, the salary cap, the luxury tax. And remember, the players' union will always favor freedom of movement for its players. Free throw drops for Williams. Brooks, he's checked in for Moran. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. The Grizzlies have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Jackson gets the bucket. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. On the wing man from outside the arc. And it's Merrill who clears it away. Now I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Jackson outside. 4-3. Can't hit that one. So Oklahoma City will take it the other way. Here's man. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Brooks outside. Pass to Merrill. Here's Conchar. Just five to shoot. Here's Williams. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Here's man. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And the NBA and its players taking an active role socially. Grant, talk about what you're seeing now and how it registers with you. Well, you know, it's exciting, it's inspiring, it's patriotic. It's what America is, being able to exercise your voice and helping to form a more perfect union. So that's what it's all about, and I'm excited for the league and its players, and it's inspiring, like I said. The first free throw is good. Jones, he's checked in for Memphis. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Conchar. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Pass to Merrill. Back to Conchar. Clock at six. For three. Hits a three-pointer. Conchar's got his first three points of the game. Woo! That man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. Well, credit the offense, though. If you're going to come with casual defensive effort, this team's responsibility is to take advantage, and they do. 
Here's Merrill. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Here's Mann. It's rebounded by Memphis. Jackson's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. And that one's good. Maladon. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in, coming off that pick. Pass to Merrill. Outside, Williams. Jones with the ball. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Shooting two. First free throw is good. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Tillman's checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Thunder have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. Pass to Roby. From 12 feet. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. The Grizzlies have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the fourth. Jones with the ball. Back to Williams. Tries again. And he lays it in. They haven't been able to grab many rebounds, getting burned on second-chance opportunities. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Maladon for three. The Grizzlies pull it in. Here's Conchar. The NBA has a major presence in Africa now, and you were a big part of it making that happen Graham yeah no it's very exciting and to work with the NBA and strategic investors over on the continent in Africa it's not just a great investment but you're also doing the right thing spreading the game sharing the game and giving people on the continent the joy that basketball brings to everyone Robinson Earl six to shoot and he takes that one up and powers it through. And it's so hard to stop the putback when you let him live at the rim like that. Boy, once he gets his hands on it around the rim, it's too late. How about the activity level, the effort level? This team right now feeding off his energy. Pass to Jones. To the inside, Tillman. No good with a layup. Oklahoma City's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Roby inside. Banked it in off the glass. Well, the analytics would say take either that shot or something from downtown. Now here's Jones. Pass to Conchar. Tillman in the post. That one's good for two. Terrific placement on the bounce pass. Right where it needed to be. Here's Mann. Maladon for three. Knocks down the long J. Maladon's got five points now in the quarter. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. Pass to Tillman. Back to Jones. The kick out to Williams. Here's Conchar. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. 
Well, Grant, you've won the NBA Sportsmanship Award three times, tied with Mike Conley for the most ever. Wow. No, it is a humbling experience to get voted for that award by your peers. You know, it's all about, I think, trying to play the game the right way with integrity. And Conley is a guy that truly embodies that. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And he makes both free throws. Oklahoma City's gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Pass to Maladon. Now, here's Williams. From 12 feet. And it's Tillman with a rebound. Tillman's got four rebounds now. On the wing, Jones. Here's Conchar. Here's Tillman. Williams defending. Outside Jones. Pass to Merrill. Fires the three. No good that time. At Oklahoma City, shooting 33%. This hasn't been their quarter. Looking to get back on track. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Man's got four points in the quarter. Memphis has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Back to Jones. Outside, Williams. Count it. Now five of 11 for the game. That's why you keep your head up. If the assist is there, you can pounce. Here's Mann. Pass to Maladon. A strong finish under heavy pressure from the B. I'll tell you, you have got to have a short memory. You put a poor first half behind you, and you get to work here in the second. Here's Merrill. Outside, Williams. Pass to Roby. Here's Mann. And Grant, you've been around the game in so many roles. Been a player, broadcaster, owner. Talk about how the game has grown and the opportunities for continued growth. Well, we know how the game here in the U.S. has really gained prominence and is hugely successful and popular. And I also think that's happened over the years globally as well. But continuing to popularize the game in Africa, India, China, and elsewhere is exciting. There are so many new frontiers for this league to grow, and I'm excited that we're moving forward in that direction. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Grizzlies. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And this win will give them 12 on the year thus far. And having this win on the books might give them a little mental advantage the next two times these squads meet. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Steven Adams. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. He was the centerpiece of what they did on the offensive end and the anchor of their defense. That's as complete a performance as we've seen. They swipe it. Pass to man. It's picked off. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Merrill. To the paint. Here's Tillman. And it's good for two. With very little left on the clock, they've got a comfortable lead, and the fans are loving it. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. Memphis takes this one by a big margin. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team.
team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were... All right, Alex, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time.